Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to our yoga practice here. This is a quick shoulder release class. Uh, the shoulders are a common place to hold tension. Um, it can feel really stiff, especially as we move um, into our day or if you wake up stiff first thing in the morning. So let's jump right into it. Separate your feet about hips width apart. Take your arms by your side and start by creating some wrist circles. Three, two, one. Just change the direction of those circles. You'll see in today's class we do lots of circular rotation in the joints, circumduction, you could say. It's great for creating lubrication in the joints. Then let's move up to our elbows now. So bend your elbows, kind of like little robot arms, and start to circle your elbows. I always think of Karate Kid like this, wax on, wax off. So let's do it like this for three two, one, and then change directions. I got a bit of a cracky left elbow, left shoulder, it's kind of sticky, maybe you're noticing those things too. Three, two, one, take your hands now onto your shoulders and start to create some big circles with your elbows. You can feel the musculature of your shoulders under your fingertips. And let's change directions. You'll notice it's not just your shoulders that are moving right, you're feeling your upper back and your chest, maybe your head. Three, two, one. Hold on, I'm gonna turn so you can see me from the side. Have your arms down by your side, make sure you're not gonna hit anything or anyone. Start to swing the arms forward and back, and forward and back. And maybe you just notice how your body sort of adapts here. Adapts, yes, and then Start to circle the arms, big circles. You can go as slow or as fast as you would like here. Just do one more in this direction and then change directions. Let's do that for three, two, one. Now let the arms come out in front of you and swing them crossing the arms and changing the crossing every time. And notice how your hands sort of lovingly tap on your body, just letting that tap happen. Let's go for three, two, one. Really nice. Come down onto the floor, sit on your bum. Bring your hands on the ground behind you and start with your fingers turned to the long sides of your mat. And start to circle your shoulders here. And again, noticing the upper body movements. Let's change directions. Nice. Turn your hands now so the fingers point towards your buttocks or how much you turn is going to be dependent on your shoulders. So don't push it if it feels too much. A little bit is a lot. And then again, start to create some shoulder circles here. Up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. Do that a few more times in this direction. And then let's go in the other direction. You knew it was coming. <laughs> nice. Three, two, one. Now walk your hands back a few more inches and then let your arms come up to your ears. Your shoulders will rise up, perhaps feeling some sensation there. And then push into your hands and pull your shoulder blades down your back. So let's do that again. Lift your shoulders up towards your ears, let the upper back round. And then push into your hands and pull your shoulder blades together until your chest lifts up. Good job. Now turn your hands around so that your fingers now point to the back side of the mat. And do that same thing. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears. You don't have the chin dip down. That will often naturally just happen. And then pull the shoulder blades down your back till your chest lifts up. Let's do that again. Pull the shoulders up, letting the chest sink down. 
And pull the shoulders down. Very nice. Sit cross-legged. Interlace your fingers together and create some figure eights with your wrists. Maybe a little tick-tock of your head. Here, side to side. Good. Press your palms out in front of your chest. With your arms straight, pull your thumbs and your little fingers back towards your head. Keep length in your spine. Take another big breath in. And out. And release your arms down by your sides and take both of your feet over to the right side. If possible, tuck your left ankle under your right thigh. Take your right arm and walk it away from that right leg. So over the right side. Lift your left arm up over your head and then to the right. Stop when you feel sensation on that left side body. I feel it quite a bit on the side of my belly and the side of my ribs, but maybe you feel it from the hip up to the armpit. Then you get in there. All connected. And then bring that left hand back down and change sides. Take your feet over to the left side. If possible, take that right ankle under your left thigh. Walk your left hand away to the left side. Lift your right arm up over your ear and lean to the left. Stopping when you feel sensation there on that right side of your body. Hold and breathe. And bring that right hand back down to the floor. Take your feet now out in front of you. Have your feet about hips width apart and take your hands to the backs of your knees. As you inhale, pull on your knees, bring your belly closer to your thighs, lift your chest, look up. As you exhale, round your spine and tuck your chin into your chest. Let's do that again. Inhale, pull on your knees, bring your belly forward, chest and head up. Exhale, round on your spine, lean back, shoulders apart, chin down. Keep going. Inhale, pull up on your sitting bones, chest up, head up. Exhale, round your spine, lean back, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale, pull up, chest forward, head up. Exhale, lean back, round your spine, chin to chest. Well done. From here, sit back up and make your way back onto your right side. So you're gonna come down onto this right forearm. You can place your knees just stacked on top of each other and look down at that right elbow. Just make sure that it's in line with that right shoulder or slightly forward if that feels better. And then create some big shoulder circles here. Then we do lots of circles, right? I promise it's good for the joints. Go in the other direction. All right. Nice. Now lift your right hand off the floor and open that right hand over your head. So it's open like an elbow. And then take that right hand and swing it back to the ribs. And open it up over your head and then swing it back towards the ribs. Do it two more times, just with a rotator cuff. Open the arm up and then bring the hand down. Last time, open the arm up and bring the hand down. Very nice. Come down onto that right shoulder. So now that right arm is off in front of your chest. Keep your knees together, even bring them up a little higher and then open your left arm out to the left side and pause for a few breaths in this twist. Stay with a long, slow, steady breath. Bringing as much three-dimensional movement in your thorax as you can. So that means your chest, your ribs, even your back if possible. Just so widening as you inhale and contracting as you exhale. Nice. Now turn your chest a little bit more to the right side. That's where your right arm is. Your left arm can stack. So you're more in like a fetal position. And then stretch your legs out straight. Now go slow here. You're going to keep your right arm as it is. Take your left hand onto the floor in front of your chest and start to roll onto your belly, keeping that right arm stuck under your chest. You can maneuver that left arm wherever you would like. I'm even going to turn around and give you another angle to view this at. Arms right out of my chest. Oops. Just down my fireplace there. And then turn your chest to the right. 
And back to center. Working that other shoulder, turn your head and chest to the right. And back to center. And do that two more times. Turn your chest to the right. And center. And again, turn your chest to the right. Look over that right shoulder. That might be pretty intense there. If that's intense, stay right there. If you want a little more, bend that right arm so your hand comes to your upper back. You're turning your chest and head to the right. Hold for three. Two and one, bring that right hand back down, turn the head to center, Ooh, retract that arm. Let's roll over onto our left side. So you're gonna stack your knees, left elbow under your left shoulder, mm -hmm. and then start to create those little circles here. Let's go in the other direction. Two, one, nice. Slowly come all the way down. Oh, I missed that rotator cuff one. Lift your left hand up. We can't forget that. So keep the elbow down. I spoke too soon. Lift that left hand up. Open the left hand over your shoulder. And then take the hand back down to the ribs. And open the hand up to the shoulder. And then take the hand down to the ribs. Do two more times. Lift the hand up. Take the hand down. Last time, take the hand up and take the hand down. Good job. Now, lower yourself down with your left arm out in front of your chest. Your head's going to be leaning a bit. Bring your knees up a little higher to that left side. And then turn your chest to the ceiling as you open your right arm up to the right side. Doing that nice rotation. Hmm. Maybe breathe through. First day of Mercury being in retrograde, so <laughs> perhaps that's why things are going slightly in there. Not quite as bad. Perhaps using this as an opportunity to let things slide up our shoulders for the time being. Just like that. One breath in, one breath out. Bring that right hand all the way back to the left side so you're more in a fetal position. Then stretch your legs out straight. Remember that left arm's gonna stay pinned under your body as you turn your chest over that arm. Yes, nice. I'll turn a little bit. I don't wanna kick my head though, but that arm is pinned under your chest. That feels a bit of like a choke hold. This is just something I look like an alien. <laughs> and turn your head and chest to the left and feel that shoulder. Maybe you can reach that left arm a little further to the right side and then again turn to the left. Oof. Let's do that again and turn back to the left. Well, that might feel deep enough. You can stay right there or perhaps bend that left elbow so your hand comes to the upper back. Keep turning to the left. Oof. Press it down to that elbow, take a big breath in, big breath out. Bring that left hand back down, slide the arm out from underneath you. Place your hands on the floor and push yourself up to hands and knees. Once you're in hands and knees, come high up onto your knees into a high kneeling position. Circle your shoulders up, back, and together, and take your hands back behind you, interlace your fingers. If that's not possible, take your hands onto your sacrum lower back region. Keep squeezing your upper arm bones together and now start to stretch your arms straighter. Yes, so that means it may not get fully straight and that's okay. Keep your chest lifted, your chin lifted, pull your thumbs away from your buttocks. You're doing great, everyone. Take a long breath in. One breath out. And more like that. And bend your elbows and let the arms swing a little bit side to side and side to side. Even give them a little shake, shake, shake. We're going to do that one more time in our non-dominant class. All that that means is we're shifting our fingers over one. 
but many times it can feel quite awkward. So take your hands back, maybe start normally how you would, and shift all your fingers over one. So bring your shoulders up and together and start to stretch your arms out straight. And again, you don't have to have your hands last to do this. You can hold a strap behind your back. You can have your hands on your back. Focus on squeezing your upper arm bones together and we'll all get the same results wherever we are. So keeping that in mind, adapting our practice to what we need. Take another big breath in. Um, bend the elbows, let go of the arms, and again, a little bit of swinging, forward and back, and forward and back. For this next one, you can sit on your heels while doing it. Focus less on touching fingers, and focus more on creating the movement. So you'll see that I'm going to turn around, and you can see this from the back. I'll sit down on my heels, and then lift your right arm up, left arm behind you, bend the elbows, and reach towards the mid-back, and then switch sides. And again, we're not really stopping here but rather creating these movements, internal and external rotation of the shoulders. Keep going. Let's do it two more times, both sides. Nice. Whew. Good job. Let's Rest our hands on our lap. You can sit on your heels or sit cross-legged for normal breathing. Drop your gaze down to a spot on the floor. Close your eyes. Just take a few moments to connect with yourself. Let your attention be in your shoulders. Maybe you're feeling a little fatigued from those movements. Maybe you're feeling a little more relaxed. Feel whatever you're noticing. Let's take a few moments for some breathing. Working with some of the inhale to four count, exhale to a four count. Remember if at any time this does not feel good in your body or it invokes anxiety or feeling overwhelmed, please immediately stop the breathing exercises. Perhaps just sitting in meditation, letting your body do for you. Start with a cleansing breath, take a long inhale. Nice big exhale. Close your mouth, breathe in through your nose. Two, three, four. Breathe out through your nose. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last time, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. So I'm going to throw the breath control, let your body take over and take action for you. It was short and quick today, but just thanks for your willingness to show up, to take care of yourself in this way. And we continue on this path of self care and self love. And I will with you along the way. Thanks, everyone. Namaste.